Hello everyone, my name is Trishti Jayant Deshmukh. This video clip is going to be about the online resources that you can use for the preparation of civil service examination. Now I am compiling these websites specially uh, and in a different manner because I feel that internet has played a huge role in adding value to my notes and uh, the entire knowledge for CSE. So I hope that it adds value to your preparation as well and you gain from it. So here are the different categories uh, which will be covered in this video and uh, related to the UPSC preparation specifically or current affairs or general studies paper whatever websites I have found useful I will be mentioning it here in this clip. So the first is about current affairs which is purely about the day-to-day -day happenings and will tell you and will update you about the news. The Press Information Bureau or the PIB is a website which will allow you to uh, get an update of what all is happening, who is coming, uh, who is going, then what all government schemes are being launched, their performances, everything is very nicely analyzed here and you'll get if you subscribe to the feed of all ministries you'll get it on your id and then you can choose depending upon the syllabus of upsc as well as the um, previous year paper question trends so you can decide as for which and what all is important and not so the next website is about the news on air uh, this has all the programs that are aired on the national radio I specially listen to the program news analysis which is a 14 minute program but has a good understanding about issues and uh, you can hear it in Hindi as well. The next website is GK Today. Here I used to uh, solve the daily quiz which was there, uh, daily about 10 questions are posted and um, they are related to current affairs so it's a good revision as well. The Rajya Sabha TV YouTube channel is a wonderful source for covering your current affairs. The especially I used to uh, especially I used to listen to the Big Picture and India's World, which deepens our understanding of issues, uh, and the debates really help us. Now we will move on to the websites which are uh, completely oriented towards UPSC preparation. So there are three websites that have played a huge role in my uh, entire preparation and uh, they have uh, I have grown as an aspirant towards being a person who is able to write good answers with a good knowledge base only because of uh, the uh, support of these websites I will say. The first is Insights on India. Now the best initiative that I felt of this is the secure initiative where they actually uh, give you questions daily and uh, they also give the reference articles. So as to read those articles first and then write, wrote my own answers and then I uploaded it on the discuss platform. So uh, I reviewed other people's answers and other students reviewed mine. So that was a good learning that came from uh, this uh, end. And apart from it there are daily current affairs and there is quiz, there are editorials there is topper strategy so all of these things you can refer to from this website it uh, is really helpful I also refer to the uh, last uh, six or seven tests for the prelims examination from this uh, website and um, I found them really helpful the next website is IS Baba now this also has uh, helped me really well um, the TLP program of uh, IS Baba is very good and uh, they post questions, uh, they categorize the syllabus first of all and uh, according to that they post questions, even the essay questions or essay topics are mentioned and you are supposed to write answers. For prelims there is a 60 day program uh, kind of a thing which they run. So uh, when I was giving my prelims I also referred to that uh, as well and I subscribed to the All India Prelims Test Series of IS Baba as well. So um, and there's an interview program which was there which they used to uh, where they used to post the questions for the interview. So many such initiatives I benefited from it. Another the third one website uh, which I'd like to mention is the Forum IS uh, blog. Now the the two things that I was really regular following uh, on this was first was the 9 p.m. brief where the entire news of the entire day they just um, provide the gist of it and I used to revise it every single, revise it, uh, every single day and the second initiative that I also religiously followed was the 10 p.m. quiz 
Uh, so they post about six to seven questions or five to six questions. You can solve those MCQs. And apart from that, there are motivational articles. Uh, somebody under the name Neon writes it. So um, these articles, when you read it, uh, you feel on track with the exam with everybody else. So um, you could just uh, take help from all of these websites. They will help you out to keep a track of your preparation. And even if you are away, they won't uh, let you feel that you are out of the uh, race. So, um, you know, these websites keep connected to them. Keep yourself connected to them. The uh, site exam.in is a very uh, different kind of uh, uh, website. So they will keep you posted about some important happenings, some news and uh, some digital versions of books are also made available here. Find some tests that are available in Delhi. So uh, the rare resources could be found out here on exam.in. Moving on to general studies paper 1. Now there is not much which can be covered in this paper from the website because it is much of it is the static part but still uh, in geography I always felt that if I could get quality notes it will be good. So there is this website called the poor man friends uh, is uh, website PMF here they provide very good uh, notes so I refer to these notes for geography portion and you can use it to refer or you can just uh, see the selected topics from here and uh, the environment section also has been covered in great detail and nicely in an understandable manner so you can refer it here. Another two YouTube channels which can be really helpful for geography are the first one is the Rajdhanal Mam's lecture under Mrunal which you can, found, uh, which you can find in YouTube. Uh, there uh, she has covered the chapters on climatology and resources section very well. So I did those chapters from there and secondly if you are getting bored reading the NCRTs you can just uh, open the Amit Sen Gupta says channel on YouTube. There he covers the NCRTs of geography and he explains it very well. So I used these two lectures, uh, these two uh, videos, um, channels to actually enhance my understanding of geography. Now economic and uh, political weekly is one such source which can be useful for covering the society section. Uh, sociology students can enhance their understanding of some specific topics or in general for paper 1 in GS1 uh, for the society section you can study the articles in EPW and uh, it can also help you in uh, general studies paper 2 somewhere as well uh, because of the polity section. So uh, very good articles are published here and it is authentic as well so you can refer to it here. Moving on to the category on general studies paper 2. Uh, here I will be uh, telling you the different website which can help you out in uh, adding value to your texts which you read for paper 2. The first website is vikaspedia.in. Now this is a government owned website. So it is uh, really authentic the information given here. And uh, they provide you government schemes and the objectives of different schemes. So uh, instead of uh, moving through the websites of ministries, you can directly go to Vikaspedia and study the aims, objectives and uh, other such uh, information related to any grant or any scheme of any ministry. And they provide it in one place and it is really helpful to cover issues of hunger, education, other such places where you want to quote the different schemes and want to learn it. So you can find it here. Now this website, the PRS Legislative Research, can be really helpful in uh, covering the polity part of General Studies uh, 2. Uh, here you can find the uh, summary of different bills that are laid uh, in the parliament, uh, some of the objectives. They also provide their own comments on it, how it is helpful, what are the negatives. You can find it there. And uh, they also compile uh, different committees reports. Uh, so any committee uh, which is found formed, their report is summarized there. You can read it from there. And uh, any such source related to polity or law can be uh, nicely, uh, you know, referenced from here. Moving on to the international relations part, which is very much dynamic. So I did not refer to any per se book for uh, international relation. I just relied on the newspapers uh, that we read and apart from that I also studied articles from these two websites. The first is the uh, IDSA website, the Institute of Defense Studies and Analysis. Now here they provide a very good analysis of any international event or anything that's happening on the international platform 
the views are balanced and uh, you can just uh, refer for some technical terms uh, which can be used in our answers are also used here so uh, you can go through the articles now this website of observer research foundation uh, which is an indian think tank is really helpful they provide you with articles um, related to economy or international relation or education or hunger any such uh, you know major important event or issue of the country they provided there and there are articles on technology as well so you can just go through it and uh, some of these uh, articles and view points add value to your answers so um, keep reading the views and uh, for international relation you can also go through the website of ministry of external affairs there they have compiled the different uh, how the relations are um, with different countries so uh, that can complete your uh, search moving on to general studies paper 3 you will find that this paper is very dynamic and uh, the different topics that are mentioned in the syllabus uh, if you cover it very properly the preparation of gs3 is also very much uh, organized and will become easy so try and pay attention on the different topics categorize them pretty well uh, there are some websites that can help you the first i'll say is alivement now this website has uh, good articles related to economy and uh, you can either subscribe or you can uh, just go through the website every now and then so these articles are uh, provide you very good information and some good arguments which can be used in your answers for referring to specific terms which are there in economy the website arthopedia can be very helpful it is maintained by indian information i'm sorry indian economic service offices and uh, it can be really helpful to clear your concepts they keep updating some new key terms like the hjm the hybrid annuity model or any such infrastructure model i i saw the definitions there and it was really nicely given you can refer to this website for core concepts of economy now this website of the world economic forum i am referring it here because uh, every week you know if you subscribe to it they uh, post you some articles which are of the issues that are important at a global level so there are issues on unemployment on uh, industrial revolution related to technology economy education a lot of subjects are covered so uh, this uh, website is really helpful even for covering the science and tech portion there are the portions of biotechnology or artificial intelligence etc it's given very nicely so there are also uh, mind maps are also given on this you can refer to uh, this website and uh, it will help you to learn a lot finally this website of the united nations environment program will help you to keep updated uh, about the issues in environment at a global level and uh, for covering the environment section uh, for the different uh, days like the earth day and water day whatever keeps coming on they have good articles and quality content can be taken from here this can be a fodder for your essay or your answers or your understanding in general so uh, keep going through the website time and again finally moving on to general studies paper 4 now this is an area which we feel that uh, we really can read from any website or internet but uh, there are two websites which i would still like to refer here that have helped me uh, somehow in my preparation the first is um, <clears throat> the website skills you need now this is a very unique website in a very simple uh, easy to understand language they convey to you concepts of uh, honesty discipline leadership working in a team coordination then discipline integrity or you know uh, topics related to stress management anger management emotional intelligence it has been covered really well so uh, you can refer to this website for your understanding of uh, uh, these issues another website which i would like to share here is the website of oecd now this website has very good authentic documents related to public integrity corruption etc and uh, the terms and the the way they write about it uh, can directly be used in your answers especially there's a document on public integrity i thought that the co concepts of corruption and related to that were covered so well in it so you can just uh, glance through the website and see what uh, adds value to your preparation of ethics and integrity 
Finally, after covering all the papers, I will say uh, the Niti Aayog's website is uh, one baseline website which can help you to add so much to your preparation. Uh, a lot of it is given there. Uh, for example, uh, please do read the document or uh, the three-year action agenda given by Niti Aayog. It will add so much fodder to your answers in paper two and paper three and essay as well. And especially, I'll also say there are different documents or uh, public releases that they do uh, with regard to any any study which is conducted. For example, there are recent articles on electric vehicles or biotechnology or uh, artificial intelligence. Please go through them and. Uh, I hope that they add value to your preparation entirely and you are able to gain uh, there's also documents on the best practices of the entire country there so uh, those examples can be quoted in your answers very nicely and they can I probably feel can fetch us more marks at the end I would also mention that uh, the resources that I've uh, told you here is only and only because I myself have referred to them so choose what suits you the best because all the needs of our guidance, the needs of all our guidance are different. Choose what suits you. All the very best to you. Finally, I would say that you have to stay motivated throughout the entire journey. Follow the resources, whatever you get and keep uh, working hard.